<laughs> man, I forgot about this trail. Haven't been down here in literally like five years. It's just uh, a little out of the way. But man, has it got tons of hills and rocky hills and pretty tough trails to get down on a bicycle. And I'm uh, loving this motor. The torque, the low end torque is amazing. I can pretty much just not pedal and climb any rock or hill and just, you know, wheelie right off of them if I want. But uh, my pack's got to be getting pretty dead by now and I'm getting worried because I got 4.8 miles on the batteries and they're only 5 amp hours. Figures I'm trying to find my way out of this trail and uh, my packs are starting to die 5.5 miles in and I come across flooded out trail. It's probably about a foot deep and I don't really want to go through it because I got nothing but shorts and shoes here. Yeah, I rode through it. Yeah, I got muddy. Yeah, everything soaked, including my feet. They didn't. I didn't put my feet down though. So <laughs> there we go. Let's keep riding. Well, the second after I go through that little lake cross, uh, there's a big rocky hill getting out of the trail, and I can see the road. I just got a pinch flat. Wicked bad going up it. Instant popping. Really loud. It's got mud all over me. Now I got to push my bike all the way back home. Well, just got back from another ride, put about uh, four and a half miles on after I charged up my turning packs. And uh, look at that, I got zip ties, I got a ton of them. Buy them bulk, you get them way cheaper. This is uh, 12 bucks for all this. could probably really find them cheaper if I bought them online somewhere, but this is just going down to the local hardware store, picking them up. Alright, I was having troubles with uh, my rear brake caliper making a lot of noise during braking and I, I kind of couldn't figure it out so I decided to swap to a different disc brake and uh, I'm going to try how this one works out see how it goes I had to modify my aluminum bracket a little bit more well I got about 15 or 20 miles on the new motor so far uh, I did purchase a new controller so I will be stepping up to 20 to 24 cell uh, pretty soon as soon as it comes in the mail and uh, as you know, I had to change out my rear disc caliper. And now my rear brakes are working much better. Alright, as you know, I'm running the 5404 now, and it uh, has a single speed freewheel. I was having some issues with my chain falling off. Uh, as you can see, I took my rear derailleur off, and I took my grip shifter off. It's all right here on the ground and uh, I took a couple links out of the chain with a chain breaker down there and as you can see my chain is sagging a little bit uh, I couldn't tighten it the way I wanted to obviously this is a mountain bike frame so I can't just pull back the rear wheel like you do on a normal bicycle so uh, I'm gonna probably have to make some sort of a chain stay or some sort of a chain tensioner underneath uh, the bottom of my frame here to try to hold this uh, chain tight all right, I just went upstairs and grabbed the old grip off of my GT bike, and uh, as you can see, it's on all the way. Look at how much play there is between my throttle and my brake. Those grip shifters make you have to play everything closer in than you kind of want to. So I'm going to move my throttle and my brake lever over till it's a little more comfortable and in range of my hand, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I decided to go ahead and take off the front derailleur as well and just get it over with. The, uh, the front grip shift was on so tight. I actually completely twisted my Allen wrench taking it out. Alright, there we have it. Everything's uh, back to normal with no gears. I have my old GT grips on there and everything's good. Adjusted my brake levers so that they were in the right spots and everything was hunky-dory. Awesome, I got more stuff in the mail. I already know what this is. This is my new uh, 72 volt controller. It's uh, a Lion 12 Fed Extreme Modder. So, uh, be able to run 20 or 24 cell see what this motor can actually do and I think this here is my crank arm so I can put my 52 tooth uh, chain wheel on so let's open this up and get them on and there you have it thing of beauty uh, lion edition as you can see it's got 12 uh, the 4110 MOSFETs the good ones and I don't know if you can just tell by seeing it but it's way smaller than that uh, 15 cell controller I'm running the other ones probably this long so I'm going to cut the thing almost in half and put out way more power because this will draw about 45 amps without even programming it. Awesome, awesome.
Well, even though Lion goes out of his way to give you all these little connectors and uh, crimp terminals, I, uh, I don't trust any of them. So I'm just uh, going to cut everything off and hardwire it all like I always do. Uh, I'll temp it out with wire nuts, and once I finally get a solution where I'm happy, then I'll probably start soldering them and heat shrinking them. Uh, as you can see, the new one is a lot smaller than the old one. All right, I got the controller on the frame. I got it zip tied in place. All right, I got my 20 cell pack of uh, laptop cells temped out and ready to go here. I'm going to plug it in real quick, lift up the back wheel, and just touch the throttle once. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to mess with the combinations. Oh, got it working. Uh, it only took two or three tries. And I'm ready to bring it back outside and give it a test run. So let's see what we get. Well, I got the chain wheel mounted onto the spider. I, uh had to cut some washers flat on the back of there and play uh, the chain wheel off one washer space because as you can see right here it was hitting my frame when I was at the bike shop and uh, by adding that washer it no longer hits the frame so now that uh, the chain wheels in place I could put the chain back on and see what we get alright there we have it we got the chain back on the bike 52 tooth sprocket 18 tooth in the rear. Kind of wanted to step down to a 16 in the rear, but uh, I'll do that if I have to later. All right, well, all of my earlier test rides were with my laptop cells, and they kind of don't draw enough power to make this motor and controller do what I want. So I got a nice scary LiPo pack here. We got uh, two 5 cells, a 3 cell in parallel, and then we have a 2 cell and a small 5 cell over here. So this whole pack's going to be limited by this smallest 5 cell. It's only like 2.5 amp hours and the rest are all 5. So I'm going to hook a battery medic on the small one and I'm going to take it for a ride. See what we get. Well it's still a little bit slower than my golden motor kit at 15 cell. I'm running 20 cell with the 5404 and I got a 37 mile an hour top speed so far so uh, I hope the torque's worth it because I'm losing out on my top speed here I might have to jump up to 24 cell it's not bad though it's pretty quick <laughs> 